Let's take a look how I made this animated intertwined text donut here in Blender. Now let's go to Blender, press Shift plus A. Let's go to Mesh, and I'm gonna select the Torus. And down here at the left corner, you can find the Torus settings, and I'm gonna adjust the minor radius, and I'm gonna increase it to make the hole smaller. Something like this. From here, I'm gonna go to the UV editing. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, and click on this horizontal line. Press the letter U, and I'm gonna select Mark Seam. Press the letter A to select everything. I'm gonna press the letter U again. Let's go to Unwrap, and I'm gonna select Angle Based. And here you can see it unwrapped it nicely, and I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna go to UV Select Mode, and I'm gonna select one of these squares, and I'm gonna select the other UV mode here, this one. So now I can go and select one of the sides. So I'm gonna select the top one, and here I'm gonna need to press SY0 to make it straight, but it's already straight. I'm gonna do the same with the bottom line, SY0, click, and now I'm gonna go to the left line, select it, and I'm gonna press SX0. And as you can see, it's going to straighten it out, click on it, and I'm gonna select the right one, SX0, enter. And now let's press A to select everything, press the letter U, and now I'm gonna go and select Follow Active Quads. Here I'm gonna go with Length Average, click OK, zoom out, and as you can see, it made a rectangle. I'm gonna go to the UV, check Constraint to Image Bounds, and I'm gonna press the letter S and scale it down. I'm also gonna position it. I'm also gonna move these on the top. Let's go to Shading. And here, I'm gonna go click on New. And here I'm gonna press Shift plus A, type in Image Texture. Also search for Mapping and Texture Coordinate. And now I'm gonna go and connect the UV to Vector, Vector to Vector, Color to Base Color. And here I'm gonna change up the texture. I'm gonna go with this text pattern as a reference. If you wanna check out how I made this, I'm also gonna leave a link in the description with that tutorial as well. I'm gonna go and select the text pattern, click on open. We also got this little problem here. So in order to correct that, we're gonna go here at the mapping, go down to scale, and let's go to Y axis, and here you can adjust it. And I'm gonna go with 1.5, and now you can see it's separated. I also wanna rotate this. So I'm gonna go here to the location Y. And for example, I'm gonna type in 0.5, and I'm gonna go with 0.33. I'm also gonna animate this value, so I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna change this to timeline, and I'm gonna bring this out like so, and I'm gonna bring it to the zero frames. Now let's go here to the Y, I'm gonna press the letter I, and now it's gonna animate it. And now I'm gonna go and bring the timeline all the way to the end, and I'm gonna go to the Y, and I'm gonna type in 1.33, enter, press Y again, and I'm gonna hit play, and it's animating. Also right click on the donut, select Shade Smooth, and let's go to Modifier, add Modifier, type in Subdivision Modifier, and I'm gonna increase the level viewport, increase it to two, and click on Apply. And now I'm gonna duplicate the donut, press Control C, Control V, I'm gonna select the top one, and I'm gonna go and rotate the X axis to 90 degrees, something like this. I'm also gonna view it from the top, and I'm gonna move it on the right, Something like this. Hit play and check this out. This is how you make it. Thanks for watching.